Hey, good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Pivot Boss Pre Market Report for Wednesday, November 15th, 2017. I'm Frank Ochoa, aka Pivot Boss. Here's a look at the daily time frame of the ES. This is what we mentioned before. We're, we're currently in a bullish trending market here, but the market is not really pushing to highs. Instead, uh, the idea was that we would likely come out here and start to test the recent lows. And that's what, what has happened here in overnight trading where prices pushed down below this low and is now trying to push a little bit higher. Also pushed below the previous session's low, is back above that zone. Uh, and that's likely going to be the case as this thing continues to try and find a true rejection low here. Uh, we could even see this thing get down as low as 2540 and this volume ledge right here to retest these lows. Uh, and over time, if that were to be the case, perhaps we see a bigger rejection there that allows us to bring price back toward 2600. The goal is to look to defend weakness here after a significant rejection so that these bulls here can return price to highs, perhaps even push through those highs. Uh, but until we see a significant rejection here, you're likely going to continue to see this thing search a little bit lower. And after a significant rally that we've seen here, uh, it's not you know, out of the realm of possibilities here that we just hold sideways for a little while until we do build enough energy to see expansion. Again, the overall trendy market has been bullish, um, very, very bullish right now, holding at these highs, developing a major LVN, a volume ledge, and as long as price remains above this LVN, uh, the overall direction remains up. So still a bullish trendy market overall. Right now, kind of a holding phase that could continue to persist heading into next week's holiday shortened week here in the U.S., so again, we got to continue to be patient here and look for significant rejection opportunities for, uh, for a sign that we might be able to push back toward high. So right now, patience prevails. If you take a look here at the NQ, very similar. We talked about the potential for price to come down here and get this low at some point, and we're getting close. Haven't quite gotten there just yet, but getting close. There's a volume ledge and an LVN that starts to build in here around 6200, 6190. And again, it could be down into that level before we start to see significant signs of rejection that could return price back toward highs and perhaps through to new highs. Uh, any drop into 6150 could be a significant buying opportunity uh, in this chart. So again, got to be patient and allow price uh, to trade and, uh, and find that rejection point. Now, if we take a look at Crude oil here, crude oil has given us a significant move. In the previous session, significant sell-off. Uh, price dropped right into that 55 zone. This is something we talked about before. I mentioned how narrow this multiple day range was here and how we could see a breakdown first. And if we did, it could offer a significant buying opportunity for a push to new highs uh, back toward 58 and perhaps as high as 60. And right now, we've gotten that big pullback, kind of an overextended day the previous session. And that's usually what happens in an uptrending market. You get kind of that rubber band trade where this thing stretches too far to the downside and then snaps back to highs, something like we saw back here. And so we could see a digestion day here where we have a low range day that kind of builds out. We obviously have the EIA report later on. Um, but if there's a digestion day or perhaps a failure to hold below the yesterday's low, that could provide a rejection, the initial rejection uh, or absorption that could lead to another bounce opportunity ahead. So right now, you want to see price basically remain above these 55s. We could dip down below yesterday's low, but any rejection of yesterday's low could be the initial sign that we're going to head higher on a swing basis. Uh, so that's one thing to keep in mind. If price does push back toward 56.25 recent lows, bears may come in and defend initially at that point and try to push this thing lower. But overall, we've been trending up. We're through that 55 major level and pushed through it, so the return, usually an opportunity to defend. But again, there's a couple of scenarios here where you could see high range days like this one and see a failed new low here that sparks the push up. This one was a high range day a digestion afterwards and it sparked the move up. Is this one going to play out similarly? We'll have to see and wait. But again, a digestion day could be an opportunity to push it higher. A rejection below lows could do the same. All right, let's take a look here at gold futures. 
Here's a look at gold again. This thing continues to chop around value. We've just gotten another VPOC shift down. So uh, before it was 1289s, now it's 1288.30, and it just shifted down to 1280 and a half. And that's right in the middle of this multi week range right here. Again, that's how price can get stuck in the mud. We've really, for the last month, have been on the sidelines here in terms of a swing trade. But the intraday opportunities have been vast. I mean, there's been plenty of intraday volatility within the range, but we haven't seen that multiple day movement uh, in one direction or another. So again, chopping around value, we got another VPOC shift down. Eventually a breakout is going to spark a nice move, but you got to be careful uh, for false breakouts until that point and look to trade the intraday opportunities. All right, that's it for now. Let's see how this thing plays out heading into the rest of the session. Good luck and trade well.